to my channel. Uh, I'm Josh. Justin. Uh, for our very first uh, video for our for bur bourbon trolls, uh, we're going to be talking about the first. We're going to be talking about the backstory of how we got our name. Justin, you want to start it off? Pretty interesting story. Very interesting story. So, uh, what was that about? Two, three weeks ago, a month ago. Yeah, probably. We decided to go bourbon trolling. Um, went to what about six stores, seven stores? It was about a few. Years. And the last, the last one was a local store, and we went in there and we was looking for. I don't even remember what we was looking for. Ex Taylor. I just thought maybe I'd get or like, just, find the unicorn, or just whatever we could find. But um, so we walked in there, and um, the one lady behind the counter asked us if we needed any help. And then there was another lady off to the side. She goes, they don't need no help. They're just bourbon trolls. They come in everybody's <laughs> store looking for stuff. They don't buy anything unless they have what they want. So that's where that and the name, name originated. Name stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And uh, so, but what, what got us into bourbon to begin with? I've been into bourbon for about three years, maybe a little longer now. That's about all. Yeah. And the... What got me into bourbon is a good friend of mine that I actually went to school with. His name's Brent. So Brent. Uh, so Brent. I he actually started me out with uh, scotch, and then wasn't too much long later. I ended up uh, getting interested in bourbon, and then three years later, I've got way too many bottles. Well, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you mean. Not enough. Not enough bottles. Not enough room. <laughs> that's more like it. My wife would say I have too many, but that's not true. Yeah. Never have too many balls of bourbon. But that is my backstory of how I got into bourbon. Um, I got into bourbon because of Josh here. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Just because I got in because of him. Yeah, but uh, uh, he used to, back before he got married and bought his house, he used to come over Hang out once in a while, and well, back then I didn't have nowhere near as many <laughs> balls as I have now. It was only just a slight few, and uh, I, I started. Yep, this is actually what we're going to be sampling today. Yep. The our very first bottles that we bought and, and tried. Tasted. Uh, Justin's is the Eagle Rare, and uh, this is the very first bottle that I ever bought is the Wild Turkey uh, Single Barrel. Uh, actually, we can go ahead and of our glasses. Yep, let's do that. We've got our glims. About right. So I don't know how many of you bourbon drinkers out there is very familiar with, uh, well, everybody knows about turkey, but the single barrel. It's a, uh, where is the, it's on the front there somewhere. Where's the proof on this one? Oh, you're right from my face. It is 101 proof. From what I remember, it's a little hot on the tongue, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out here in a minute whenever we sample it. Um, the first bourbon I ever tried was Eagle Rare 10 year. That is, the, in fact, the first that I ever bought. Lucky him. Yeah. Some of us wasn't that uh, fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yeah. Um, I like it. It's smooth and it's not too, wasn't too hot, you know, when I first tried it. Yeah. It was a good uh, gateway bourbon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely <laughs> a very, very good, good bourbon to start off with. I don't. I don't even think I've even had this bourbon since I first got into bourbon, which is why it's still more than half full. What are you getting on that wild turkey? Nose on it. I'm getting actually a lot of vanilla notes. Really good on the nose. Um, eager rare, I'd say the the oak comes through up front on the nose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The char, you can smell the char. Yeah. 
knife on the nose. Yeah, a little bit of oaky flavor on the nose. But I'm getting a lot of vanilla. Going to have a first yep. sip. Now, I was right about <clears throat> being a little hot on the on the palate at first. The um, what you getting, Justin? Some like cherry and that vanilla vanilla that you were talking about with the wild turkey. It comes through, it comes through from the nose and it's on the the mouth too. Go for a second sip. Second sip, I feel like is always uh, better. Yeah, you can always get more of the flavor after after that first one. Oh yeah, it's definitely different on the second. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely got more tasting notes on the on this one on the second one. Still, still a little spicy raw up front. Uh, definitely some uh, some oak, uh, a little bit of vanilla. I get more a little bit more vanilla on the nose, but still that vanilla taste on the back end. Overall, I mean, it's really good bourbon. I think the MSRP on this, we are in North Carolina. So, uh, restricted state, yeah, controlled state, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I'm remembering right, MSRP on single barrel wild turkey is around 50 to 55, I think. I'm thinking the and that eagle rare around 40, 39, I think it's 40, yeah, 40, which is. Really, really, yeah, good price for for a for a ten, oh, and for I a failed, ten year. I failed to mention the um, did I did I state the proof of Eagle Rare? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they did or not. Ninety proof. So you look. That's why you know I said it was a good proof, gateway yeah. bourbon yeah. to get yeah. somebody into it. Uh, Low enough proof, and it's gonna burn your mouth out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, anybody looking to get into bourbon, that's, that's, that's always a really good go-to bourbon just to, for a good daily sipper. I'm not another sipper. Even though you don't want a daily sipper because it's, you know, it's a, it's a more of an allocated bourbon anyways. Um, so our, so this being our first, uh, video with it, with the channel, uh, we want to talk about, you know, what we see this channel going yeah. to, our future plans with it, you know, where we would like to see it go. Um, uh, the one of my favorite things in, that we listed is the distillery tours. We actually took a distillery tour a while back. Um, Statesville, yep, yeah, Statesville, Statesville, North Carolina. Yeah, Statesville, North Carolina. Yeah, it's actually the closest um, distillery near us, um, and it was actually. Uh, Really nice uh, distillery. If, if anybody's ever up here in North Carolina and want to visit a distillery, uh, mm -hmm. I believe it's actually the biggest distillery in North Carolina. Yes. What, what we were told, and it's called uh, Southern Star Distillery. Uh, actually, uh, we we was able to uh, uh, sample quite a few different other different other bourbons while we was there, and uh, overall, I was very very. Uh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. What was that one, the double rye? Was it what it was, the double rye? Yeah, they have a double rye, and it was, I'm not, I'm not a really big rye person, uh, but they have a couple of ryes there that yeah. I was really, really uh, impressed with. Uh, mainly that, that double rye, and for the price uh, point, yeah, you really couldn't beat it. It was only uh, 30, 30 bucks, I believe, MSRP. Yeah. Uh, very, very impressed with that. Uh, double route by through Southern Store. Um, cigars. I know it's in our name. It's in our logo. You guys can see it in our logo. Um, yeah, we on? definitely want to uh, include some cigar videos in the future. You know, 
mainly going to be focusing on obviously bourbon, but we do want to uh, do some cigar videos, you know, and yeah, along with doing, you know, sipping on bourbon. Well, I feel like uh, uh, while you're drink, uh, smoking a cigar, it really enhances uh, the, flavor. the flavor of your bourbon, you know, but you want to you know, get a good pair too. You know, cigar and bourbon. Yeah, you can get a crappy cigar and make your bourbon taste like crap. Yeah, or you like, can get a crappy bourbon and you <laughs> make your cigar taste like crap. Exactly. <laughs> so you definitely want to pair up your cigar with your bourbon and not just just get anything. So um, we'll definitely be doing that in the future as well. The different uh, bourbon tastings and flights. Yes, uh, definitely want to be doing uh, some bourbon tastings and flights, and uh, we even we even want to uh, bring on some. Um, some friends and guests, yeah, guests on the show, uh, from time to time, you know, and uh, have them join us for tasting these flights. <clears throat> we are, we actually already have a couple flight videos, uh, planned plan for in the future that, that we already have for y'all. And we'll take you another sip. I actually forgot how good that uh, single bar really is. It'd be interesting to try it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, we may, uh, we're just going to talk about having some uh, live videos. Uh, you know, we'll have the, they can answer or they can ask questions in the chat and we can uh, yeah. have a friend or my wife to read the questions and then she can shout them out to us and we can address them on yeah. the stream. And stuff like that. Um, as far as future plans, that's pretty much all for right now. I'm sure we'll change our direction. Yeah, and on how everything moves. Yeah, in the future. And of course, going back to the uh, distillery tours, eventually we we want to take a uh, a very big uh, tour, you know, out to the big state, to Kentucky, and uh, visit a bunch of those uh, distilleries, and uh, oh, yeah, have a big weekend uh, there. And you know what? Maybe I can finally grab the E.H. Taylor. Yeah, uh, around these parts, uh, some of those uh, yeah. bad boys are very hard to come by. <laughs> We've been after uh, several of those for a couple years now and still no luck. But yeah. That's about wraps up our introduction video. I hope you guys uh, view the channel, uh, like, subscribe, share if you want to. Um, Let's see what was I gonna say? Had a brain fart. Let's happen. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, in the future, about two weeks or so, we should have another episode. Um, a uh, good friend, a uh, new friend actually, Alan Holman. He's in the shout out to the Bourbon Real Talk YouTube channel with uh, Randy Sullivan and them. They got a really awesome Facebook group, and the guy offered to send me some samples of. Uh, a few different uh yeah we'll, yeah, so we'll, yeah. we'll cover was, that in the next one he was kind enough to send us uh three three samples in fact and we'll be covering all three of those in our, in our next video so that about it yep uh until next time happy bourbon trolling see you guys peace out